Yeah, with Rikon, we're down at uh, Fine Woodworking Live Event in Tampa this weekend, having a great time. One of the things I wanted to talk about today is that Rikon recently introduced our new uh, DVR smart motor control systems for our 14-inch bandsaws. We're really excited to say that um, there are two options now available. If, if you're a current owner of a Rikon 14-inch bandsaw, whether it's the older 325, the 10th 324, the 10th 326, you're gonna um, be able to upgrade your bandsaw to have some great features, variable speed controls with the bandsaw. We also now have it included with the 10th 326 bandsaw, so that's an option as well. One of the great things about this system is that it's gonna allow the end user to cut any function of material that they want to do on the bandsaw with the touch of a button. The great thing about the DVR is that it, it uses a switch reluctance motor and the control box determines what the optimum speed range is and speed range of the blade. So um, feet per minute and RPMs are pre-programmed into the box and in the box there are, there are four separate functions. The first, some, the first function is wood, which is great about it is um, this is the resaw application and we predetermine what the optimum speed range is going to be. So the blade speed is 4,000 RPMs and the motor speed is 2,600. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, 2,160. What that does is that that allows the end user it's going to allow the end user not to lose any type of torque through the entire cutting application, producing a beautiful finish on the workpiece. Of course, you have to use the right blade for the proper application, but with that being said, if I wanted a resaw, I would just press the F1 button, press the on button, the motor starts up, it's spinning in an optimum of speed range. And within that range, if, if the end user wants to adjust it because he feels whether or not he needs to cut a little bit faster or a little bit slower, you could actually take the dial and lower the speed on the bandsaw. The saw has a built-in brake, so now you may shut it off. The saw stops within, within five seconds. There are other multiple functions on, on the keypad which allow you, so this is, this is function one for all your wood applications, so if I press um, F1 again, there's a section for bowl blanks, for rip and cross cutting, and for scroll patterns. Again, the system We've predetermined what the optimum speed range is to get the best finish possible in any cutting application. That's why the speed changes on each on each function. Um, on function two, this is the section for cutting all your metal. So there's a lot of metal work being done in woodworking today, uh, and in, instead of going out and purchasing, you know, a secondary bandsaw, now you could have one tool with the proper blade uh, be able to cut all those functions. Um, and if I press F2 again, I'm getting it a signal. Our bandsaws come standard with, with two speed pulleys, so when you're cutting stainless steel, you, to make sure you have enough torque, you have to lower the position of the pulley on the bottom wheel to the, to the lower setting to give you the lower RPMs so you can have additional torque. The same thing up with uh, titanium, it's going to prompt you to change the pulley position on the bottom and then. If you're just cutting, you know, cast iron, carbon steel, you have all those functions. Um, function three is all your non-ferrous applications, so you'd be able to cut aluminum, brass, bronze, copper. Function four is for all your plastics, you know, acrylics, nylon, high density, and custom. The great thing about the custom feature is that um, if you're comfortable using the saw at a certain speed and you're getting the best results out of that particular speed range through the motor and through the blade speed, you can customize your setting. And again, the beauty of it is when the saw is running, as I turn this on, you, this dial right here allows the saw to change speeds, right? So without pushing the knob in, I could change the speed by about 50 RPMs just by slowly turning this. But if I wanted to increase it and get to a position fairly quickly, if I just push in the dial, I'm able to turn up the speed. So that's all controlled in the dial right here, which is great. And again, the braking feature, once I shut it off, the saw stops right away. Um, in the menu part of the control box, whoop, hold on, turn off power to complete. Oh, I didn't want to reset it. Sorry, back up. 
Okay, so on our menu button, um, there's a full feature screen. This, the, the first section is gonna tell us um, the pulley position. The second icon is for blade cleaning. And what's unique about this is when I, when I start this and turn this on, The bandsaw is actually running and the blade, the blade is spinning backwards right now. What's that doing? Is that taking, that's taking off all the debris on the wheels and stuff like that. And it's providing a, a better application for cleaning all the debris off your tires on the bandsaw. It's kind of hard to see because it's spinning so slow. And when I turn it off, it always resets and, and, and goes back into um, the forward mode. There's also a braking function. We've seen the brake function, but that's optional where you can turn that on or off. There's a setting button button which is providing you with motor configuration and then the USB function um, one of the things that you know we'll be doing as we add new features to the particular system you'll be able to take your PC with, with the USB plug it in go to our website or straight text website be able to download the, the, the most recent software update and you'll have um, your system will be updated without making any changes at all I know this is a quick demonstration a quick overview of of what we're offering but i encourage everybody to stop by your local dealer check it out if you have one of our bandsaws this is a great upgrade for it um if not and you're looking for a new bandsaw it's a great option thank you i can't see what does it say